before we start this video, a large thank you to Nico for their support on Patreon. I hope you enjoy the video, my friend. And an immense thank you to Halo Burner, Earn, and James for their massive support to the channel this month on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to add AI combos to our character, which we already have kind of started. Let's go to the combat stand state and I'll show you what I mean. So apologies, this first clip, I tried out my old recording software one more time to see if it would uh, work and it looked promising first, but as you can see, the clip just kind of turned into a slideshow, but uh, I dropped back into my new recording software when we get into Unity, so you're only going to see this choppiness for this first bit of the recording in Visual Studios, which is not so bad because I'm narrating what I'm doing anyway, uh, but this will be the last time I use it, so this should be the last time this happens. So you can see here we have a bunch of stuff set up for a combo. We have Camp Perform Combo and Chance Perform Combo. Now, you can make a flag here called will perform combo during this uh, this combat rotation, similar to blocking. If you want to do the naming conventions the same, you could put that down here and set it to false and reset state flags. Um, this is one way of doing it, but I'm going to do a slightly alternative way, and I'll show you why. So first, though, we do have to do the standard uh, can you perform a combo. So we can do that by doing the same thing we did here for uh, checking for block. So I'm going to put a comment over this. You can see here we roll for a block chance. Well, now we're going to roll for a combo chance. We're just going to do the same thing. If you can perform a combo and you have not rolled for the chance, then we're going to do that. We're going to say we have rolled for a combo chance. This is true. Hey, future Seb here. Make sure you put combo chance, not block chance, like I accidentally did here. Because if you don't check for the combo chance, you'll continually re-roll this over and over and over and over again. Not a big deal. I've corrected it off video. And then we're going to say uh, will block during this, or sorry, will Combo during this combo rotation equals roll for outcome chance. So why did I say we don't need the will combo during this combat rotation? Well, first I'm going to rename this uh, chance to perform combo. So it's the same thing as my uh, variable for blocks. So the naming conventions are the same. And then I am going to save that. So I'm going to then go over into my attack state. And you can see here, we're, we actually have some commented out code uh, and we have a thing here for will perform combo. We don't need will perform combo this combat rotation because we're just going to assign will perform combo directly on the attack state by saying AI character dot attack is an attack state dot will perform combo equals whatever you got from the roll chance. So we can delete this other variable. We need to know this on the attack state because basically while we're performing an action during the attack state, the whole time we have to be uh, checking if we have the ability to perform a combo. And if we do, and the AI can combo, then we do it. So under reset state flags here in the attack state, just say will perform combos equal to false. And then I am going to go ahead and make an if statement here. And we're going to say if will perform combo and we have not already performed the combo, then some logic is going to happen within here. But we're going to need some more information. So let's open up some curly and it's at this time right now. I'm realizing I've already had this type from many videos ago. Whoops, so let's delete that. Now, the position here is important. Make sure this is above the check for is performing action. Uh, so Let's go to our AI character combat manager and let's actually make a flag for basically allowing us to perform a combo. So header combo. And what we're going to do here is public void, or sorry, bool, not void, uh, can perform combo defaultly equal to false. So this is going to be like our player's flag. It trips during an animation event. Now, if perform a combo, so if will perform a combo and has not performed a combo, then we're going to check the current attack and make sure it actually is a combo action. And lastly, we're going to check to see if the AI character is in a range window to perform a combo by referencing that variable we just made. So why are we doing this above the is performing action? Well, when you're attacking, you're performing an action. So if you're returning before uh, you process this logic, you'll never actually attempt to perform the combo. So then we're going to say has performed combo is equal to true. And we're going to just basically do the action on that attack action. Now let's go over to the AI character combat manager again, and let's make two or sorry, override them because they already exist. Override enable can do combo and override disable can do combo and just set the new variable we just created can do combo to true and false depending on the flag. So again, the player uses these and the player uses a bit more of an intricate system. It's can combo, uh, you know, you're using your, your offhand or your main hand, but your AI is probably not going to have that most of them anyway. So you can just use this. And now if you're using the zombie animation set like me, uh, the swipe attack one and two are made to combo into each other. So you can see here's swipe attack one and right about here, I've already set the animation events by the way, just to save us some time. Uh, so right about here is where the hand goes down and I have the enable can do combo. So watch if I, it's actually a bit ahead of this, it's right here. So a few frames like right here. Now if I click on the second uh, zombie swipe attack, 
it's going to line up with this perfectly. You can see here I have the window for enable and disable combo. And right here, watch where that animation starts. The hand is already down. So basically right in that window where I have this little enable uh, and disable can do combo, it's going to allow us to translate into this attack. Now obviously use whatever animations you have, um, but if animations are set up this way where they kind of blend in each other nicely, it looks a bit more clean in my opinion. So I am going to go ahead, I've already made it here. I have the attack action 01, but I've made attack action 01 combo. And uh, I've just dragged that in as a combo action to attack action 01. And again, I've set up my animation events off camera because we've done that a thousand times now. I want to save you guys some time. But if you're unsure, I mean, you can reference one of the earlier videos. Uh, and I'm going to set the combo chance to 100 and tick can perform combo. And I'm going to click play. If I go into the game here now, you can see if I get close, boom, he's going to attack me. And I have sound on because I'm on your recorder, by the way, when I go into game mode. So he does perform the combo and he should perform again 100% of the time. Yes, he does. Okay, very cool. Now, what if you only want this AI to perform the combo if it is confirmed that they hit you? That's actually pretty easy as well. And we're going to do that. So let's go over into the AI character combat manager. Okay, here we go. And let's go over to the combo and let's make a public bool for has hit target. And defaultly, let's make this false. And you know what? I'm going to give it its own header uh, because this is the naming is a bit uh, general. We'll call it hit check. And let's go down now, minimize this. And let's go over to the main, sorry, manual uh, damage glider. And right here under damage target, because this is an AI damage glider only, what we can do is say, if we pass the check for damaging a target, character causing damage, we can reference the AI character combat manager, has hit target is equal to true. Now, how do we close this out? How do we return this to false? Well, under empty here, if we go to reset action flag, you can see here we call disable can do combo right here. And since we're overriding this flag on the AI character manager, uh, we can actually add that bit of logic in there to disable this flag. Because again, this flag is only used to check for a hit during a combo. So when the combo is closed, it no longer needs to keep track of this. So we can say under disable combo has a target is equal to false. Now, maybe we should make this clear because that name is a bit general. So we can make we can say here, this is a flag to determine and you know what, let's actually put this by the variable not in this function so we can see it plain as day when we come back to the variable name. So has a target, this is a flag to determine whether or not we hit our target during a combo. And just to make this super clear, let's actually rename the variable too. So it's has hit target, but we're only using this during a combo. So let's say has hit target during a combo. Okay, now we save that. Very good. And now we can go to the combat stand state and this is gonna get uh, a bit more I guess you could say technical now, maybe messy if you're not careful. So we can make a flag here uh, for basically, do we only want to hit or do we only want to perform the combo if the character that we're targeting is hit? So we can say only perform combo if initial attack hits is equal to false. So we need to now keep track of this in the attack state. And what you could do, I'm going to show you the messy way first. And I'm going to show you what I would do. What you could do is come in here and say, if and then we're going to check AI character dot AI character combat manager, or sorry, it will be combat stance state. So if AI character dot combat stance, and we need to make that public, not protected. That's my bad. Let's change that really fast. Okay. So if the AI character dot combat stance state dot only perform combo, if the attack hits and you have not hit, then we're not going to do anything. Otherwise we will perform this combo. Now, I don't like the look of that because that's a bit messy and tangly. There's a lot of if statements going on there, uh, you know, inside of other if statements. It's not terrible to be honest, but uh, we can make that a lot better. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go through the process of how I do this. So step-by-step, step, check this out. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a function called perform combo and make it past the AI character. And I'm gonna copy the old logic we just had there. And I'm gonna paste it in this new function that we're going to make so it's going to be a protect the virtual board in case you ever want to override it in the future. You're probably not going to want to, but maybe. Uh, and we're going to make this an AI character manager variable required be passed. Call it AI character. Paste our old logic in here. So what next? Well, let's make a bool up top here for can we perform the combo? And defaultly, it's at false. And if it's true, then we're going to basically do the combo in the last bit. So if can perform combo, this is the very last check, then we're just going to go ahead and do it and we have not performed the combo, 
we can copy that one piece of logic. And I'm doing this with you in real time. This part is not scripted, so this is my thought process of how I'm going to go through this with you. So it has to form comma equals true, and then we're going to go and paste this in there. Cool, that's one part of the equation done. Now we can simplify this. We can delete all this in here, and we can just basically change this can perform the combo check depending on certain variables. So if the current action is not equal null, and we can perform the combo, but we need one more piece of information, we need to make sure we're not only doing this when we're hitting a target. So if the current action does not equal null, and we can perform a combo, and the AI character dot combat stand state is not going to only allow us to do this if we actually land an attack, then we know we can go ahead with the combo. So can perform combo is true. All right, cool. But what if we basically only can do this if we land the attack? Well, first, let's make a comma here. If we don't need to hit our current target and the action isn't null and we're able to perform a combo, then we give the go ahead. We change the can perform this combo flag to true. And then it will proceed and go down there and run that next bit of code where it performs the combo. All right, cool. But what if now we only want to do this if it's hit? Well, we can simplify this code a bit more first. Also, we can actually just say if the current attack dot combo action is null, simply return. And then we can get rid of one of these flags here. And look at that. That's even a bit more neater. All right, cool. So right below that now, what if we have to hit? Well, we can just do the same thing here, but we can say if the AI character dot AI character combat manager, and we could say can perform combo because we need that right away. And then we could say AI character dot combat stand state. If it will only perform the combo if the attack hits and we have hit our target by referencing our new variable and the AI character combat manager has hit target during combo, then likewise we can change the can perform combo is equal to true. And it looks a bit neater already, a lot neater, but we can go further. You can look what's shared here that we can kind of get rid of again. And before I get to that, I'll make a comment here. If we do need to hit the target, then we're gonna check for all these checks and then there you go. So once we're having to hit it, once we're not having to hit it. But what can we do to simplify this even further to make it look a bit neater even more because we have like two or three checks in these if statements. It's not terrible, it looks fine, but we can still clean up a bit more. Well, we can make check up here. You can see here, we can say if we will not perform a combo, simply return. And then we can get rid of the one that checks down below. And also, if we have already performed a combo, again, simply return. So that allows us to get rid of the check here for if we have not performed a combo. So we simply go eradicate that. And also, we can remove that check here and here and get rid of this if statement entirely, basically. So we can copy this logic in here like so and paste that, and there you go. And you can still simplify this further. You could say if the character cannot perform a combo, return. But that's just my mindset on how I do that. Now, go to your combat stand state and tick only perform combo if initial attack lands. And then set the percentage whatever you want. I'm going to set it to 100 so I can see it every time. So, we're going to go into the game here now. And I'm going to get the gentleman to attack me. He's missed and he doesn't combo. But if he hits me right there, you can see he does in fact perform the combo. There we go. So, again, I'm going to get him to swing. He hits me and he performs the combo. But now if I come at him and I dodge out of the way like so, he's going to swing at me. And he misses, so he does not perform the combo. There you go, guys. You have an ability to perform combos, and you have an ability to perform combos only if you hit your target. But you can expand this further, too. You could make it so, obviously, every time you hit the target, you will combo. But if you miss the target, you will only combo a percentage of the time, etc., etc. There's a lot more stuff you can add onto this. Tweak it as you see fit and whatever you feel best fits your project. So I hope you learned something new, and as always, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you all have a very lovely weekend, and immense thank you to my patrons. I appreciate each and every one of you. You are why this series continues. And as usual, if you watch this video and you paid money for it and it's not on YouTube, I'm sorry you have been scammed. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys, again, have a lovely weekend. I'll see you all next week.